Hey guys, Monkey Man here, and I know I did a video recently on this same subject, but since then I've been given some awesome information from my own subscribers. Thank you, Viet Huang and Jay Haven. You guys both have convinced me that Mimu is a better application and that there are better methods of trust mastery farming that are a bit more efficient and faster. That doesn't mean the previous video was completely wrong. That's a perfect way to uh, make a macro that is efficient in making uh, trust mastery farming possible but thanks to some awesome links which i'll put in the description below you can actually farm much more efficiently and um you know effectively without crashing and without you know you can literally just leave the trust mastery farmer on continually you don't even have to check up on it like with i was saying with the nox app player where i have to check in on it using a vnc and um you know access my computer from outside this you can legit just leave it on and it will farm continually non-stop it is crazy all right let's go straight into it let me get the display capture up let me fix this up real quick yo there we go thanks to my friends here there's a beautiful link that takes me to this page yes this page is your holy grail of tm farming macros as lo along with other macros are very useful in just you know straight up farming so let's look at what we've got here we've got here all the macros ready there or ready to go but there's a little bit of a setup involved i'm just going to quickly run through that setup and um first of all you've got to download nox and mimu to use these macros i've already shown you nox Mimu is so much better and does not crash as often. So this time around, I'm going to show you what Mimu is like. So let's just go straight into the Mimu app. Boom, Mimu. First off, you got to go to settings before you even think about downloading anything. Just make sure that your resolution is at 1280 by 720 with 192 TPI. Really important to have that resolution, especially when it comes to the macro, you know, effectively working and not messing up. Okay, so that's saved. Whatever, I didn't really change the settings. Next up, go to your Play Store and download Final Fantasy Brave Exvius onto your emulator. Perfect, done. I've already done that. Your next goal is to clean up the screen because when the app does crash, there's a way for the, uh, I guess, the, the TM farming macro to access the app again. I haven't actually experienced it yet. The uh, Mimu has not crashed on me once yet, so that's pretty impressive. Or maybe I was asleep when it happened. I don't know. But straight out, this has just been what you know the setup told me to do. You've got to put all the other icons on the screen into a single folder. Boom, boom, boom. You cannot move that middle icon because it's an advertising platform. So, but once you've got everything in a folder, you move it to a, a second screen. And just stick it anywhere in the second screen. I, I prefer in the corner because you know it cannot be, get messed up there. And then you take the Final Fantasy Brave Exvius and you stick it one, two, three, in the middle of the screen there. According to I think it was this actually that told you whether you put it there or not. Yeah. Just there, perfect. Yep. Yeah. So we've nailed it perfectly. So once you've done that, then you are ready to change the settings in Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. Very important right now. Once you're in Final Fantasy Brave Exvius to do these little changes, they're not nothing really big, but it makes you get the most efficiency out of the TM farming macro and the macro does not mess up on you. That's so important. And you can literally just leave this on and that's insane. So this is 100% in my opinion, the best TM farming method to date. And I don't think you know, there would, should be any other one that you use, but you can still use the other methods I've shown videos on, but this is just insane. Thank you again, Viet Hang. You are a legend. Thank you for informing me of this. So let's go straight into here. Options. First off, when it goes to battle effect options, turn off all the battle effects, esper effects, background effects. Continuous battle should be on and I've stuck on all quests, but as long as it's on it's fine uh, Auto limit burst on and I don't think that's really that important But companion make sure companions on it's really important too and other than that I think that's all you have to worry about in the options menu perfect When you go to the units menu what's important when you do your TM farming uh, party setup That the slot 1 and slot 3 which is where my Ramza and my Chizuru are right now 
it's really important to have your fastest attackers there not your best attackers your fastest attackers so if you have a dual wield noctis or an elza do not stick them in one of three because these are the ones that are used to do the attacks on separate um monsters and basically wipe them out so that's very important to remember so one and three fastest attackers that can wipe out you know creatures or it doesn't have to wipe out creatures they just have to be able to clear the stage efficiently that's very important all right so after after that is done you are ready to start the macros so first of all you have to set up a macro so you click the operation record button which is right there and that will bring up the operation record menu there it is beautiful very important to just remember that this is very similar to the nox app player you know it's much cleaner ui but it's very similar the, every everything is pretty much the same click record make a button press and stop that's all you have to do to get started when you install Mimo, remember where you installed it to what's the um, file path or the directory of this application because you're going to need that to use these macros that have been pre-made and trust me these macros are insanely awesome and much more efficient than a homemade or homebrew like my own video previously said so let's go into the folder there you go so if we go into program files the microvert folder then the Mimu, and then the scripts folder there are your scripts uh, my most recent scripts right here it's pretty good you got to open them up with notepad all right there we go so this is a very short script because all i did was click the button once and then stop so this is all that all my mouse position and everything that was recorded during that process that's pretty cool eh? so it's just like recorded all the scripts now we go back to the page where we had all the you know macros and we click under Mimu macro which one we want to use so this is the one i use now the no lapis build because i'm a free-to-play player but if you're planning to use um, lapis in the future you want, might want to do both so it's very useful. So what you want to do is just click that button. It will take you to paste bin. There's a lot of code to copy and paste. So I'm, what I'm going to recommend you do is just scroll all the way to the bottom. Right there, raw paste data. Select all. So right click select all or just press control A. Uh, copy or control C. Go to your notepad and then select all here. And then just paste over it and then save. And now your macro is ready to go. You didn't even have to turn off the Mimo macro. My macro... Uh, Mimo emulator which is still up for me as you can see and then my script 2 which I just created then is gonna work and function perfectly alright let me just refix this screen real quick to make sure that you know I can show you guys in nice and pretty way All right. sweet so let's get back into this really quickly let's go home let's go to Grand Shelt Isles and then let's go into Earthshine and I'm going to take this macro that I just made in my script too, and I'm going to play it for you guys to show you how effective it is really quickly. There we go. How magical is that, guys? It's going to be crazy. It does the, um, the efficient thing of just using attacker 1 and 3, as you can see. And as long as you chose fast attackers or people that get through the attack pretty fast, which is obviously Rams and Chizuru for me, pretty fast attackers, the macro just runs really fast, really efficiently, quickly. And when it's done, it will make sure to press um, back on the Lapis refill. If you get the non-free play version, it will click yes for the Lapis refill, which is insanely awesome. So it is ver very fast and efficient, as you can see, compared to my own previous one. And it doesn't seem to mess up at all. And it has not even crashed on me once yet. And I ran it for 25 hours straight just to test it out, make sure that I wasn't making a video about no reason. Uh, for no reason. So yeah, thank you again Via Huang. This video is mostly uh, on the back of your information that you shared with me So thank you a lot and everyone else here make sure you thank him in the comments Even if he doesn't comment, you know, just drop it down via hang your champion uh, If you guys like the video, please thumbs up Subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna be making more videos on Brave Exvius, especially with the new arena I'm um, sorry the new events coming at Ifrit um, Arena event. I can't remember exactly if it's, is it if, if for, yeah, Final Fantasy 14 if for it. And, um, you know, I want to also do the Gilgamesh trial. I'm trying to find the Trust Masteries for that now. And it should be pretty awesome. And if you guys want to add me on the Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, there's my code to the right. I still got some friends list spaces left. Um, I'm trying to build a Mad Noctis for everyone just that has Jewel and, you know, Sword Mastery and uses the 
the Genji Sword or whatever it's called from Gilgamesh Trial once I finally complete the Gilgamesh Trial. And then um, my Scalibur that I already trust Mastery farmed the hell out of. So that's going to be pretty awesome. So if you guys want that to help you out in your early game, that's going to be there as well. And uh, other than that, I guys, I'll see you guys in my next Final Fantasy Brave Exit video. So thank you guys for watching and I hope this was very informational and it you know, helps you guys in your Trust Mastery farming uh, adventures, endeavors. Go forth and grind, my people. Uh, this has been Monkey Man and thank you guys for watching. Where's my outro at?